Out on the ice, here we go. Look at this. Not 100% sure I feel about this. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever driven a car out in the ice. Not only out in the ice, but out in the river. Oh, here we go. I'm officially, am I on the water right now? Is that oh, what this is? We're here. Welcome. Nice. This is a lot different than what I expected. I didn't know we were gonna be whipping on the, on the ice this morning. Well, Highlander's getting in some ice time. First ice expedition. Look at this. this guy's got his GMC, what is this, a uh, freaking Arcadia on the ice? Turn the mom mobile into an ice mobile. Howdy. With an ATV. With an ATV. Just with a morning power move, getting the, the Dutch crunch. Salt and Vinny. Old Dutch. Breakfast of champions, right? Look what time it is. The power move when you come with the most authentic of purchases. Yeah. Where's this? Yeah. Uh, Show them the other snack we are going on. We're going to be sure to open this carefully, not to yeah, we don't spread want the salsa all over, over the Highlander. Seeds. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh my god, you oh, smell, I can it. smell it. It's spicy. It's going to be some <laughs> su spicy salsa verde. Snacks, check. Camera gear, check. All of our fishing gear, also check. These are the guys we're going to be fishing with. They seem pretty cool right off the bat. We just met them. Um, and they're going to take us out on the river. We're going to follow them on the ice with our truck or with our Highlander. It's not a truck, it's an SUV. And um, we're gonna go find some fish. Really? No. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I'm like right by it. Is that open water right there? Yeah. That's the discharge. That's the discharge. You it's said like about eight, 18 ice inches too. of ice? Yeah. Almost bad. two feet of ice out here on bad? the river. This is gonna be sick, man. I'm, I'm pumped. I'm so pumped for this. Thick the ice is. Wow. I thought Illinois had thick ice. We are talking about some serious fishing today. You guys just saw the hole in which we have to pull a fish out of. We're not going after bluegill. We're not going after crappie. And we sure as hell aren't going after largemouth or pike. We are going after one of my favorite fish of all time, the lake sturgeon. Since last year, I've wanted to do this. I've wanted to catch a sturgeon through the ice. That is like the ultimate battle, in my opinion, next to like catching them in the Fraser River. But those are a little bit different. Those are like white sturgeon. Anyway, not to sidetrack. This right here is so cool because you're limited to how you can fight these fish. You're not on a boat. You're not from the bank. You can't move around. You are bringing the fight to the fish and it just makes for even a more epic experience. A few days back, actually about two weeks back, I was doing that live stream where I caught that six pounder through the ice at Lake Gax. And after I caught that fish, I was super freaking jazzed. I was pumped. I threw on the live stream and I was asking everyone, you know, hey, how's everyone going? You guys catching fish? Any ice fishing going on? And uh, these guys, Luke and Jacob, actually dropped me a quick message. I'm surprised I even saw it because those messages go so fast. And they were like, you know, hey, I, you know, we heard you mention something about how you wanted to go through sturgeon through the ice. You should come up to Minnesota and do just that. I'm like, yeah, that sounds like an amazing idea. So here we are now on the river and we are going to do some frigid sturgeon hunting it's gonna be a long day these fish don't come in heavy waves not like you're gonna catch 30 of them you make it four to five to maybe one so yeah that's the that's the gist anything that's on your mind right now what's going through your head as we prep for the sturgeon battle um there's really nothing going on in my head right now then i just ate way too many salt and chips <laughs> yeah, well it's coming out of him oh i'm breathing heavy. <laughs> oh i'm a heavy breather the spoon so you put a you said half a shiner on there? Yeah, we usually use a VMC Tingler, but this is all we have is just some glow shot Northland spoon here and put a little glow in there. We're probably gonna upgrade the uh, the ring and the hook before we put it down. Yeah, I figured. Extra heavy 40 inch. And using only 20 pound, I mean, it's not like crazy ring. overkill, yeah. Well, the drag on these is only probably like 10, 12 pounds anyway, yeah. so yeah. we don't really need. Is that too sloppy or is it never too sloppy for? Oh, you're never. Is that good? Yeah, I just get this. Just like that? Yep. It's on the bottom. Is that cool? Yep. Okay. And then, if anything touches this line. It's gonna come pop off up. of there. Yeah. So if any, you you want to be able to detect the slightest of bites, so and then get there before it like basically hits the blank. Well, it won't take it that won't. much out. It likely will just will really? just fall off of there. They bite lighter than 
the most finicky gill that you've ever caught. Really? It's it's pretty crazy. So then we open up uh, these clasps on here so you can get it right off and then, and then just start give, cranking. give her a heck. Yeah, yeah. Right away. Awesome. Oh, are you cooking it with the scoop? Oh yeah. <laughs> that is probably the most ice fishing thing I've ever seen. <laughs> most Minnesota thing I've ever oh, seen. Yeah. We're taking a much needed brat break right now. It's kind of tough to say. We've had a few potential suspected bites. Do you think those were mud puppies or do you think they were The one was definitely a fish. One was down that one, right? Yep. Anyway, we still have lines in the water. Just taking a little snack break. And Chris is jigging up a 16 inch. How big was that crappie? 16, 18 inch? What did the Garmin say? <laughs> <laughs> but he still can't get enough of the I'm not even hurry. hungry, I just want the taste of my mouth. No, I'm going through some cool. This was definitely, I think, the best move the entire trip. Dude, honestly, the chips are like just as good as how good the sauce Right? Is. They complement the taste. Oh, yeah. Money. Yeah, so what's the game plan, Luke? We're gonna go try a different spot for night. Kind of a little more of a secret spot, I think. And these fish, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not gonna act like I know what I'm doing, <laughs> but these fish do chomp more at night. Is that common for most sturgeon, or is it just an ice deal? <laughs> we, we do really well at night, open it, water open too. Water, yeah. I mean, we were out here trying for sturgeon, but really here in a few hours, that's when things should get pretty solid and should get kind of spicy for these sturgies that are right under us. That Minnesota sun is setting behind the hill. The St. Croix River scene is beautiful right now. Everyone out here in their shanty sleds ripping left and right. We are going to move spots to a top secret location. I want to show you guys something real quick that's completely unrelated to the whole fishing scene and why we're out here, but I want to kind of give you guys a, a peek as to what Chris and I's life is like when we're on the road. Just just take a gander at all of this. Look at this. Can you, can you, Chris, can you tell me what's going on here? Like what is, uh, we've a got day of filming. Batteries, we've got chips. Or you just said a day of filming, that's pretty much what it is in some. Where's batteries charging on the ice. What? Where's the salsa verde at? Calm Let's down. get a garbage bag going. That's gonna help us yeah, a well, lot. Yeah, we've got plenty of freaking bags, you know? Yeah. It's, it's a constant freaking mess with us. If it's not fishing gear, it's camera gear. If it's not camera gear, it's food. It's like our three things that we always have to bring with us on the road. It's now the fish's turn to show out, to pull up on us. Um, I just can't, I can't get over how beautiful this place is. It's, this place is insane. You ready, Chris? I'm ready. Oh, he's so ready. Where? Anywhere. Right here. Like oh, right there. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> It's like the uh, Chicago tram. <laughs> yeah, right? It's the Metro. So we, uh, we got some food and now we're back out on the river. You can say we're on the river still, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah. Everything's fast. This is where it gets real. Look at that. That's a big one. Look at that one. That's a fish right there. That's a big watch these bobbers right there. Right there. So now we just wait, we anticipate, and we watch the living shit out of our bobbers <laughs> because even if one of these little bobbers goes like boop that much, that's when we have to reel down crank and uh, smoke a toad. I think my eyes are gonna start twitching from staring at these bobbers for so long. Yeah, like if I sneezed right now and I got a bite, I have no idea. We do have some waters though. Man, gotta stay here. You honestly need this right now. Too much salsa verde. Have you been marking any? Oh, look it. You're freaking staring at your phone. What's gonna happen if one I just starts looking. ripping? So one great remedy for waiting for a surgeon to come in and bite is some um, Maury's smoked salmon. Not the, the actual like kind of locks the flays. What you gotta do is gotta get a fat cut of smoked salmon, not like that slimy BS. Although that, that stuff is pretty good. Jerky. That not only jerky. smoked salmon, but yeah. also smoked turkey jerky. We only make money moves. Except for fishing moves yet today. Yeah. But that is, yeah. that's the next step. When it comes to food, we're all about to get a knife. Oh, don't even worry about the salmon. Really? Just don't even up? worry about the salmon. Turkey jerky. Wow, that is good. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's freaking turkey. Let's go, Sturge. Come on, Sturgeon. Let me tilt this a little bit. Oh, sh**. Set it. Make hard. 
I'm on. I'm on. You're on? I'm on. I'm on. Oh, man. Hooked up. I don't think it's that big. No. No. It's coming up. <laughs> that caught me off guard, like, crazily. I know. We weren't marking that one. No, we weren't marking that one. That came out of nowhere. Oh, it's a little sturgy. Look at him. That might be tiny. He's so tiny. Tail him. Oh, foul. Oh, fouled. He probably spit. I mean, I'm sure he bit it. He probably just spit. First sturgeon. First sturgeon fouled. Right in the tail. So you might have a tag. tag He's got he's a tag got now. Spoon in his yeah. <laughs> Why did you do that, little guy? You're supposed to with this right under here. Wow, you should feel these fish. They're like unlike anything else. Look at them oh, undulate like that. Sharp. Very sharp. Yeah. Well, first sturgeon, just not hooked to the mouth. It's good to know what they look like, though. Very pretty. Now let's see what get a release shot. Yeah. Let's do okay. It. Yep. There he is. Nice. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, boys. Well, it's not how I'm going to get my first sturgeon through the ice, but uh, that was pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty good snagging fish. Well, hopefully this next one we get is in the mouth. Okay, I'm going to get back down there. That's sick. We saw our first sturgeon. That's what we're up against. Sucking it up and putting it back out. Oh, fuck. You guys got more lights for those batteries? Batteries for those lights. Yeah, well, what do you think it runs on? You say, do you guys have more lights for these batteries? Batteries for those lights. I said batteries for those lights. No, you said lights for these batteries. Oh. It's kind of like mood lighting. We went from like film lighting to like mood lighting, you know? Crank that soldier boy. Yep, that was <laughs> useful. <sighs> choo choo! I'm ready for a fing <laughs> sturgeon. Uh, uh, sturgeon? You forgot your <laughs> balloon. <laughs> that episode was like just so much different than like all the others. Oh yeah, very trippy, you know. Why did you just <laughs> say so? <laughs> well, Guys, people watching at home, we uh, we have a few updates for you guys. One of which we're losing our filming light here, which is not ideal because this is also a visual bike game. Not only are we using this light to film with, but we're using it to watch our bobbers. Anyway, Chris and I are on a bit of a lull right now, waiting for a sturgeon to wake us up. This is definitely, not to sound freaking cliche as hell, but it is a waiting game. And when you do get that bite, you can't f up. Like you can't. F up. You really can't. <laughs> you can't trip over your shoelace. You can't slide on the ice. Like you have to be there at the rod, take the bobber off, reel down to it, set the hook. This is like a very detail-oriented type of fishing. We're out here, just grinding. We're yeah. out here just rambling. Just rambling. such a hefty f yank. You guys seeing anything? Nah. Two big whatever's in the, in the lower water column. Like but a gift for Chris. Oh no. Tell him I'm just gonna throw it. Over here no, he's like... not gonna throw it. Just nicely... No, I'm gonna throw it. Oh, don't throw it. Yeah, yeah. I swear if this thing like goes in my mouth. Alright, buddy. Here's what we got for you. It's a little one. Holy go, oh my kind of cold. <laughs> what is that? That's a mud puppy. Hey, keep it there, Chris. They I just I hated underwater. that feeling at first. Isn't that cool? There's this little gills are on the side. Yeah. It's uh so this is what's been biting my bait. Yes. Yeah, there he is, there's the culprit. Oh, uh, it's like They're a really cool though, honestly. It's like yep. that sort of really sticky slime that you just feel is not gonna come off your hands. Yeah, you really gotta rub it. It's so cute. Hold them up like that. Does it have eyeballs? No, it's not. Yeah, they do. they do. They've got very tiny ones right there in the front. See if we can induce a bite. <laughs> They're super timid. Yeah. They live underwater their whole lives. So it's a sound. And there's a ton of them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So can I drop our new pet down in the hole? Yeah. yeah. yeah unless you want to make another fish tank video. You, you oh, no. wow. Yeah. <laughs> Put them in your pocket. <laughs> I'm going to make an Instagram story oh, of this yeah. guy. Long night in the ice, long day out in the ice, has uh, 
has yielded not much success, unfortunately. We have a couple of options here. We First and foremost, we gotta get back to the hotel and sleep. I'm so dead ass tired. But from here on out, we've got two more days. We have a nasty potential snowstorm coming in. Snowstorm oh, Jackson or something potential. like that. It's it's, it's eminent? Okay. Well, we have a snowstorm coming into Minnesota on Monday, and that's when we planned on doing some small fishing in the Mississippi River. But that may get switched around. We don't know. All we have to do now is get some good night's sleep and then reassess our plan. We may go for sturgeon in the morning. We may go for small if we just aren't a hundo P positive. And uh, yeah, we gotta lick our wounds because these sturgeon hit us hard. They cracked us today. Damn, I did not think that. I thought for sure we were gonna catch one, but they don't call it. They don't call it catching. Fishing, they call not it fishing. Catching, silly. Yeah, well, I call it catching. Anywho, long day. Sturgeon, you won. I'm waving the white flag. You got me. But we're coming back for you. Don't worry.